Miss Ashley here. I am going to show you how to make a do-it-yourself sensory uh, bin at home with your kids. All you need is chia seeds, water, and a measuring spoon, and some food coloring of your choice. Our kids love sensory play at school, so making your own sensory bin at home would be a lot of fun for them. It doesn't have to be huge, it can be really small. Um, so first things first, I chose green because it's March and the color we're learning about is green. So for this, the chia seeds make this sensory bin edible. So if your kids put it in your mouth, it's totally fine. And we need one, two, three tablespoons of chia seeds, and then two cups of water. Just pour it on in. And then add some food coloring, as much or as little as you want. Oops. And then just give it a little mix. And then we have to actually let it sit in the fridge overnight. And then in the morning, we'll check it out and see what it looks like. And I'll let my daughter play with it so you guys can see what it's like. All right. See you in a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, my chia seed mixture has set and it's uh, ready to play with. Like I said, it's edible because they're just chia seeds, water, and food coloring. And... If you just put a few drops of food coloring, the food coloring won't stick to your skin, but it's ready for the baby to play with now. So let's go test it out. Okay, friends, so I've given the chia seed sensory play to my daughter, and she's just having a good time exploring. Each child will obviously be a little different in how they explore it. They might be a little apprehensive at first. You can give them some cups and bowls and spoons or whatever you have at home to let them play or just let them put their hands in it. Aria, is it fun? Is it fun, Aria? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. I'm glad you're having a good time. All right, so I hope you can try to make something like this for your kids at home. Just remember, um, it might get messy, but that's what play is all about. Um, we're just learning through our hands and through our sensory experiences right now, and we're having a good time doing it. Bye, guys.